Hello everyone. Today we will do tenses, the most important topic of English grammar. If you want to, if you want your English to be flawless, then this is important to know about the perfect rule and regulation of tenses and the perfect uses of it. Let's begin with the definition of tenses. It is equally important. The tense of a verb shows the time of an action or event. You can see here time of an action or event. This is very important. Generally, when we talk about tenses, we discuss about time. The tenses means time, present, past and future. But only time is not valuable. Simultaneous simultaneously we should discuss about we should concentrate on action or event also when we are talking about action or event yes of course the state of an action we are mean to say we are discussing or we are talking here about a state of or of an action it means any action any work or any event is done is complete or not. So for this point of view, we can divide this state of an action in two parts. First one is degree of completeness and second one is degree of incompleteness of the event. As first one is telling that what is the status of the work? The work is done and another is telling not done. So we will know about it. But yes, of course, how we can forget about time? So here we will know that at which time? If we are talking about work, work at which time? So time and work, they both will go simultaneously as we are coming here. On this behalf, we can divide this tense into two parts, work and time. Yes, students, time. Not only in grammar, generally also we talk, if we are discussing about our life or any point, we discuss, then okay, life is going on in three parts, past, present and future. Time has been divided into, in these three parts, present, past and future. But if we are talking about work, as earlier we discussed, the state of work, so here is state of work we can divide in these four parts. You can see indefinite. Before starting or before going in the depth of each and every tense, this is very necessary to understand the meaning of these particular words. That is very important. Indefinite. Indefinite as by the name it is clear the thing which is not definite. It means in this category, in this part of tense, there comes the type of sentences which are just giving facts or statements. They are not telling about the completeness of the work or particular status of the work. Second one is continuous. Continuous, as you know the meaning of continuous, continuous means in process going on it means work is not finished this is going on this is in process perfect third one is perfect perfect as by the name what is the mean by perfect perfect means perfect complete finished it means work is done and the third and here the fourth one is here perfect continuous Perfect continuous, continuous again as it was in second category, continuous it means in process. Perfect is telling us it has been started, has been started but it's still it is going on. The work is not finished. So these four categories children, first one is telling indefinite is telling us not any particular state of work. Second one, continuous, we are very clear, the work is going on, that is in process. And third one, perfect, it means finished, done, complete. 
and fourth one is telling yes of course the work had been started but is still going on it's not finished yes perfect strand now we'll move on the next step that is here when we discussed about tenses okay tenses already we discussed there are in three categories present past and future as you know we discussed right now work category of work state of work so on the behalf of same we will categorize here these four are the work categories of each and every tenses you can see over here as in present you can see indefinite present indefinite present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous same in past tense also suppose the work was started or done in past tense that is also we can divide it into again four parts past indefinite past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous in the same manner future also future tense future indefinite future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous yes students so in this way there are 12 type of tenses on initial stages tenses three types of tenses present past and future but overall when we divide them according to the work according to the state of work they are 12 type of tenses so now one by one we will study about them 